a trip to the national championship at Lock Shell Drake, New York. And Bird puts it off the glass and in, and he has 11, and that ties the game at 83 with a minute 10 to play here in the second half. Wow. No lead is safe. I Come, think we said that in the beginning. Coming back from 17 down. The Wolves have tied it up. Under a minute to play, 15 on the shot clock. Alexander nearly loses the ball. He's able to get it to Rumley. Robinson drives the baseline, creates contact, puts it up and in. 25 for Robinson. 45 on the clock. The Stormers lead 85 to 83. Possession arrow in favor of MATC. Northington takes it to the open shot. No good. Bird with the rebound. Tough shot and great hustle to get that offensive rebound. And the foul by Rumley. Three for four in the game from the charity stripe. 59% free throw shooter. The Wolves were 10 for 10 in the first half from the charity stripe. First shot by Bird is good. Pulls the Wolves within one, 85-84. There's .7 second difference between the shot clock and the game clock, so the Stormers can play for close to the last shot of the game as Bird sinks it, has 13 and ties it up. Yeah, I would I would believe that the Stormers will probably play for the last shot here. It would be the smartest thing to do. They probably won't uh, go until somewhere around again, uh, seven or eight second mark of the clock. 
15 on the shot clock. 15.7 on the game clock. Inside 10 seconds on the shot clock. Alexander pull up from just inside the three point line. Left wing is good. And the Stormers have a two point lead. Now they throw one up at the buzzer. No! Oh my goodness, Riami Northington almost hit on that one. The Stormers, the Milwaukee Area Technical College Stormers are your Region 4 NJCAA champions with an 87-85 victory over the Joliet Junior College Wolves. What an exciting wow. game.